bring you the New Orleans Bowl. And even though the city's called the Big Easy, this game will be anything but easy. We're inside this dome stadium for today's matchup between the North Texas Eagles and the Colorado State Rams. Welcome everyone, Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host Kirk Herbstreet and the coach, Lee Corso. We hope you're as excited as we are for this one. The Eagles have to play mistake-free football just to compete in this game, but I doubt that'll help them that much. Right, Lee Corso? Oh, no doubt about it, Brad. Colorado State is coming into this ball game with three main goals, and they are throw the ball, throw the ball, and then throw it some more. Kirk, they're going to chuck this ball deep and let those receivers run under it and score touchdowns. I mean, a lot of touchdowns. You're right, Lee. This game should be a piece of cake. Colorado State has so many weapons on offense, and one of them is their outstanding wide receiver. This defense better not blink their eyes, because if they do, he's gone. Colorado State has won the toss and elects to play offense first. home Alabama. This game is guaranteed to satisfy that craving for football action. The Mobile Alabama Bowl is headed your way. And we don't need to worry about the weather because it is absolutely gorgeous out here for tonight's game between the East Carolina Pirates and the Thundering Herd of Marshall. Welcome everyone. Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host Kirk Herbstreet and the coach Lee Corso. We hope you're as excited as we are for this one. The Thundering Herd, I imagine, would be considered a slight underdog coming into this affair. Coach, do you see it that way? Well, first of all, Brad, I agree with you 100%. Marshall does not have a pass rush or the secondary to keep up with this offense. Kirk, they're going to get picked apart like a turkey on Thanksgiving. You're probably right about that, Lee. East Carolina will be led in this game by their fearless quarterback. I'm very impressed with the competitive spirit of this guy. Brad, when you watch this guy play, you're going to see him give 100% every single down. And it won't matter if his team is up by 30 or down by 30. He's a winner, and he'll get it done. Marshall has won the toss and has elected to receive. NCAA football, it's got to be the sport with the most loyal fans in the world. And these fans have gathered together here with one common goal in mind, bringing our team to victory. The forecast tonight is calling for clear skies, and we should have perfect weather for this game between the North Carolina State Wolfpack and the Pittsburgh Panthers. 
From EA Sports, this is Brad Nessler welcoming you to another exciting game of college football. Joining me in the booth for this one, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. Lee, how do you predict this one? It appears to be a deadlock, and either team could come out on top. Okay, here's what I think. North Carolina State is not coming in this ball game doing anything fancy and have anything fancy up their sleeves. If I were them, I'd run and play smash mouth football until my opponent throws everything he's got at me, and then I'd beat him deep with the pass. That's what they're going to do, my friend Kirk. Mark it down on your calendar. Lee, when I compare the skills of these two teams, it's dead even. This is the type of game that can be won or lost by one individual player. Pittsburgh is led by their quarterback. And let me tell you something about this guy. He's a terrific football player, but he's got to be careful. He can't try to create something big every time he touches the football. He needs to be patient and let things come naturally. This will be a good test for him, Brad, and I think he'll pass it. North Carolina State has won the toss and elects to play offense first. As with all bowl games, the stakes are high. And today, we've got an incredible game coming your way. It's the Las Vegas Bowl. And we've got clear skies on what is just a beautiful afternoon for this matchup between the USC Trojans and the Utes of Utah. Welcome, everybody. This is Brad Nessler along with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet here to bring you another game of EA Sports NCAA football. The Trojans should have an easy time with this one, right, Lee? Forget about it. USC has a huge advantage in one particular area, the running game. Kirk, look for them to run the ball 40 to 50 times in this game and absolutely demolish and demoralize this defense. Big win in this one. Oh, Lee, there's no question about it. This one's going to be pretty lopsided. USC comes into this football game led by their quarterback, and he's such a leader, Brad. Believe me, he won't buy into any of this pregame. We're going to blow him out, Hoopla. He's a focused competitor, and he'll be ready to play. Utah has won the toss and elects to play offense first. NCAA football. 
It's got to be the sport with the most loyal fans in the world. And these fans have gathered together here with one common goal in mind, bringing our team to victory. And the weather is absolutely gorgeous for today's game between the Stanford Cardinal and the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. Welcome, everyone. Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host, Kirk Herbstreet, and the coach, Lee Corso. We hope you're as excited as we are for this one. The Cardinal may be overmatched and could have an ugly game on their hands. Any thoughts, Lee? Brad, I couldn't agree with you more. Georgia Tech has a running game that will absolutely dominate this defense. Kirk, this one won't even be close. Oh, Lee, there's no question about it. This one's going to be pretty lopsided. Georgia Tech is led offensively by their quarterback, and he's a good one. I look for him to spread them out with four and five receivers. I think he'll have a very big game today throwing the ball against a secondary that just isn't quite athletic enough to match up, Brad. Georgia Tech, he likes to play offense first. NCAA football. It's got to be the sport with the most loyal fans in the world. And these fans have gathered together here with one common goal in mind, bringing our team to victory. Clear skies and just beautiful weather here for tonight's game between the Tiburon Sharks and the EA Sports team. Welcome, everybody. This is Brad Nessler along with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet here to bring you another game of EA Sports NCAA football. I really can't decide who has the advantage here. This is just too close to call. How about your thoughts, Lee? Let me tell you something, my friend. Tiburon is not coming in this ball game with doing anything fancy and have anything fancy up their sleeves. If I were them, I'd run and play smash mouth football until my opponent throws everything he's got at me, and then I'd beat him deep with the pass. That's what they're going to do, my friend, Kirk. Mark it down on your calendar. Wow, this is a tough, tough game to call. But there is one guy I really like out there. EA Sports has said all year that their running back is the guy this offense really depends on. And you know, I can't say enough good things about this guy. He's a true winner. Brad, I think they'll look to the running back once again to make something happen. And once again, he'll deliver big time. Tiburon, he likes to play offense first.
live here at Shreveport, Louisiana, where this crowd has come to life expecting an incredible matchup. And we don't need to worry about the weather because it is absolutely gorgeous out here for tonight's game between the Iowa State Cyclones and the Crimson Tide of Alabama. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler. And with me, as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. We're glad you joined us. The Cyclones could be in trouble in this one, Lee. What's your thoughts? I think you're right, Brad. Alabama has a couple of things going for them in this ballgame. The first one is their running attack. If they can get four, five, six, or seven yards on first and ten, that'll allow them to use play-action passes, which is the other strength of their offense. Kirk, if they can do that, watch out. They're going to win and win big. Coach, I'm going to have to agree with you for one big reason. Alabama has one of the best wide receivers in the country. And when you talk about impact players, this guy's name always comes to mind. He is by far the best offensive threat they have. Brad, look for them to get in the ball as many times as possible in this game because when he touches the ball, good things always happen. Alabama has won the toss and has elected to receive. We bring you the GalleryFurniture.com Bowl, where we predict an intense battle in this bowl game. Communication could be difficult and play a factor out on the field in today's game between the TCU Horn Frogs and the Aggies of Texas A&M. Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler, Lee Corso, and Kirk Herbstreit here to bring you all the action of this football game. The Aggies have a more talented core of players. What do you think, Lee? That's right, Brad, and I said it all along. TCU is going to have a tough time stopping this running game. Look for them to overload the line and focus on slowing down those running backs. And you know what? I'll tell you what's going to happen, Kirk. They're going to beat them with the pass. Yes, sir. The pass. Mark it down, my friend. Now, I think you're right with this game, Lee, and I'll tell you why. Texas A&M will win this football game because they have a great quarterback who's a true student of the game. He spends hours and hours studying film and learning as much as he can about the defenses he's going to play against. Brad, when you see him at the line audibilizing, you can expect good things to happen. Texas A&M has won the toss and elects to play offense first.
we look on, it's easy to see that these teams are not about to make sweet music together, but are ready to come out and give it their all. It's the HomePoint.com Music City Bowl. And we don't need to worry about the weather because it is absolutely gorgeous out here for tonight's game between the Georgia Bulldogs and the Boston College Eagles. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, and with me, as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. We're glad you joined us. The Eagles know they can't afford to make any mistakes in this game, but even then, Lee Corso, this should be a tough game for them. I might agree with you, but there's one factor you got to remember. Boston College is coming in this game very confident, and they will not be intimidated. I'm saying they will dominate this football game on offense, on defense, and on special teams. And Kirk, I think that prediction is worth three yo's. You know, Coach, I think this will be a very close football game, and it'll come down to who wants it more. Georgia should be able to move the football if they get the ball to the running back enough times and just let him pound the ball up the middle between those big tackles. Brad, I think this guy could gradually wear down the defense and then come the third and fourth quarter, just run right by him. Georgia has won the toss and has elected to receive. from Qualcomm Stadium in San Diego, California. This is the Holiday Bowl, and these fans are going crazy for this one to start. Clear skies and just beautiful weather here for tonight's game between the Washington Huskies and the Texas Longhorns. Welcome, everyone. Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host, Kirk Herbstreet, and the coach, Lee Corso. We hope you're as excited as we are for this one. With these teams, there's no telling who's going to win. They are evenly matched, Mr. Corso. I'll tell you what, Brad. Texas is one of the most patient teams you'll find. Against this tough defense, I would expect them to be a little bit more frustrated at times and maybe force things that aren't there. Kirk, I think this frustration will lead to turnovers, and they won't be able to overcome those costly mistakes. You know, Lee, as usual, I disagree with you. Texas has a quarterback who, in my opinion, is one of the best leaders I've seen put on a college uniform. Now, Coach and I had a chance to talk with him earlier, and he said that he wasn't going to get caught up in any of the pregame hype, that he was going to just stay focused on the game. Brad, this guy impresses me with his maturity as well as his physical abilities. I think they'll win this game behind a strong individual performance by their outstanding quarterback. Washington, he likes to play offense first.
here at the Motor City Bowl, ready to bring you all the exciting action you'd expect in a bowl game. We're inside this dome stadium for today's matchup between the Cincinnati Bearcats and the Toledo Rockets. Welcome, everybody. This is Brad Nessler along with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet here to bring you another game of EA Sports NCAA football. Lee, how do you predict this one? It appears to be a deadlock, and either team could come out on top. Let's take a look at a quick point that I think will be an important factor in this ballgame. Toledo is coming in this one with a few question marks, particularly in their ability to stop the pass. In this game, they're going to see a team who really loves to throw the football, and I'd like to mention they like to throw it, and they like to throw it, and they do it very well. Kirk, I think the passing game is too much for them to handle. This one's going to be over early. Lee, I disagree with you. This may surprise you, but I think this game's going to go the other way. Cincinnati is led by their outstanding running back, and believe me, this guy's a workhorse. You know, when you look at the defense he's facing in this game, and he's got a terrific opportunity to put up some big numbers. Brad, look for this guy to put the team on his shoulders and carry them to an upset victory. Toledo elects to play offense first. This is the Alamo Dome here in beautiful San Antonio, Texas, where these fans are excited about this Sylvania Alamo Bowl. We're inside this dome stadium for today's matchup between the Texas Tech Red Raiders and the Iowa Hawkeyes. Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler, Lee Corso, and Kirk Herbstreet here to bring you all the action of this football game. The Hawkeyes look like they might have some trouble out there for this game, Lee. Oh, be careful, my friend. Texas Tech really needs to take this game seriously but they're in for a big test. I'm not so sure they have the pass rush or the secondary to stop their opponent's passing game. Kirk, I think this will be a close football game. I think it'll be a high scoring game. And I'm predicting an upset victory. How do you like that, my friend? Well, Lee, I think you're wrong, and here's why. Texas Tech has a sensational quarterback on their side who's a true leader. I think just his presence in the huddle alone gives this team a spark. And Brad, I think that's gonna be the difference in this football game. Texas Tech has won the toss and elects to play offense first.
the Insight.com Bowl, and we'll be bringing you all the action to find out if these teams have enough insight to go home winners in this exciting bowl matchup. And we don't need to worry about the weather because it is absolutely gorgeous out here for tonight's game between the Kansas State Wildcats and the Syracuse Orangemen. Welcome, everyone. Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host, Kirk Herbstreet, and the coach, Lee Corso. We hope you're as excited as we are for this one. The Orange Men definitely have their work cut out for them, don't they, Lee? Oh, no doubt about it, Brad. Kansas State has the ability to throw the ball all over this secondary, and that's exactly what they're going to do. Kirk, you can forget about this one because it's going to get ugly. Why even bother? I agree with you, Lee. This one shouldn't be much of a contest. Kansas State has one of the best players in the country lining up in their backfield. Brad, this guy can run around you, he can run through you, he can catch the ball, he can even throw a block when you need him to. They'll get him the ball often, and I think he'll have monster numbers in this one. Kansas State has won the toss and has elected to receive. We've got an incredible college football game lined up and headed your way. It's the Wells Fargo Sun Bowl. It's time for football, and the fans are anxious to get this one started as we give you what should be an exciting game between the Purdue Boilermakers and the Cougars of Washington State. Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler, Lee Corso, and Kirk Herbstreet here to bring you all the action of this football game. The Boilermakers are much too powerful to be stopped in this game. What are your thoughts, Lee? Oh, no doubt about it, Brad. Purdue has the ability to throw the ball all over this secondary, and that's exactly what they're going to do. Kirk, you can forget about this one because it's going to get ugly. Why even bother? Coach, I think you're right. I think this one's a blowout. Purdue comes into this game with their biggest playmaker at wide receiver, and that's exactly what he does. He makes big plays. Brad, that defensive secondary has really got their hands full trying to slow down this guy. Purdue has won the toss and elects to play offense first. The crowd is excited for the start of the Crucial.com Humanitarian Bowl. Broncos Stadium and Boise, Idaho is the site for this matchup. And it is perfect football weather here for today's matchup between the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs and the Clemson Tigers. 
From EA Sports, this is Brad Nessler welcoming you to another exciting game of college football. Joining me in the booth for this one, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. The Tigers shouldn't have any problems winning this game big. What do you think, Lee? Big mismatch in this one, Brad. Clemson has the ability to throw the ball all over this secondary, and that's exactly what they're going to do. Kirk, you can forget about this one because it's going to get ugly. Why even bother? Oh, Lee, there's no question about it. This one's going to be pretty lopsided. Clemson has an outstanding quarterback who can really put up some big numbers against this defense. Brad, look for him to have a big game. Louisiana Tech has won the toss and elects to play offense first. This is San Jose, California, the setting for the Silicon Valley Classic being played out here at Spartan Stadium. Clear skies and just beautiful weather here for tonight's game between the Fresno State Bulldogs and the Michigan State Spartans. Hi, everybody, and welcome to another edition of EA Sports NCAA Football. I'm Brad Nessler, joined here by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. The Bulldogs definitely have their work cut out for them, don't they, Lee? Brad, this one's going to be over and over quickly. Michigan State has a huge advantage here, especially in the passing game. Kirk, look for them to spread their defense out and attack them through the air. No contest. Yeah, there's no doubt this one could be very ugly, Coach. Michigan State has one of the best players in the country lining up in their backfield. Brad, this guy can run around you. He can run through you. He can catch the ball. He can even throw a block when you need him to. They'll get him the ball often, and I think he'll have monster numbers in this one. Fresno State elects to play offense first. Memphis, Tennessee. This is the only place to be for incredible Liberty Bowl action. And we couldn't have asked for better weather for today's game between the Brigham Young Cougars and the Cardinals of Louisville. Hi, everybody, and welcome to another edition of EA Sports NCAA Football. I'm Brad Nessler, joined here by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. 
The Cardinals should have an easy time with this one, right, Lee? Big mismatch in this one, Brad. Louisville has a huge advantage here, especially in the passing game. Kirk, look for them to spread their defense out and attack them through the air. No contest. I agree with you, Lee. The only question in my mind is who's going to have the biggest performance? Louisville is led offensively by their quarterback, and he's a good one. I look for him to spread them out with four and five receivers. I think he'll have a very big game today throwing the ball against a secondary that just isn't quite athletic enough to match up, Brad. BYU has won the toss and has elected to receive. bring you the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl here in Atlanta, Georgia, where we're sure to bring you a peachy keen bowl matchup. And here we are inside this dome stadium where we're protected from the weather for tonight's matchup between the Auburn Tigers and the Tar Heels of North Carolina. From EA Sports, this is Brad Nessler welcoming you to another exciting game of college football. Joining me in the booth for this one, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. The Tigers are going to have a tough time on this one. What do you think, Lee? Yeah, but you got to remember one thing. Auburn is not going to be intimidated by this defense at all. I think they got a great shot if they throw the ball deep, early, and score. Kirk, I'm calling for an upset in this one. You know, Lee, as usual, I disagree with you. North Carolina will win this game on the arm of their quarterback. You know, he has everything you want in a QB. All the intangibles. He's tough, he's talented, he's competitive. The thing I like about him is his ability to spread the ball out to a number of different receivers. Brad, he'll find a way to get it done. North Carolina elects to play offense first. On the shoreline of the Gulf of Mexico, we're live here in Tampa, Florida for the Outback Bowl. It's time for football, and the fans are anxious to get this one started as we give you what should be an exciting game between the Ohio State Buckeyes and the Gamecocks of South Carolina. Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler, Lee Corso, and Kirk Herbstreit here to bring you all the action of this football game. The Buckeyes look like they might have some trouble out there for this game, Lee. Well, I agree with you, Brad. 
Ohio State is going to have to play a flawless game on offense if they expect to win this ball game. I don't think they got a chance. Kirk, I don't see them moving the ball much against this superior defense. Lee, I disagree with you. This may surprise you, but I think this game's going to go the other way. South Carolina is led by their outstanding running back, and believe me, this guy's a workhorse. You know, when you look at the defense he's facing in this game, and he's got a terrific opportunity to put up some big numbers. Brad, look for this guy to put the team on his shoulders and carry them to an upset victory. Ohio State has won the toss and elects to play offense first. Texas, home to the Cotton Bowl, is alive with enthusiastic fans anxiously awaiting kickoff of the Southwestern Bell Cotton Bowl. And it is perfect football weather here for today's matchup between the Arkansas Razorbacks and the Oklahoma Sooners. Welcome, everybody. This is Brad Nessler along with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet here to bring you another game of EA Sports NCAA football. The Sooners should have no trouble dominating this football game. Lee? Oh, you got that one right, Brad. Oklahoma has a huge advantage here, especially in the passing game. Kirk, look for them to spread their defense out and attack them through the air. No contest. No question, Lee. Big mismatch in this one. Oklahoma has so many weapons on offense, and one of them is their outstanding wide receiver. This defense better not blink their eyes, because if they do, he's gone. Oklahoma has won the toss and has elected to receive. Tell Stadium, located here in the heart of Jacksonville, Florida, is the site for one incredible college football game, the Toyota Gator Bowl. And we've got clear skies on what is just a beautiful afternoon for this matchup between the Virginia Tech Hokies and the Seminoles of Florida State. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler. And with me, as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. We're glad you joined us. Lee, how do you predict this one? It appears to be a deadlock, and either team could come out on top. You want to know what I think? I'm going to tell you. Virginia Tech is coming in this one with a few question marks, particularly in their ability to stop the pass. In this game, they're going to see a team who really loves to throw the football, and I'd like to mention they like to throw it, and they like to throw it, and they do it very well. Kirk, I think the passing game is too much for them to handle. This one's going to be over early. Lee, I disagree with you. This may surprise you, but I think this game's going to go the other way. Florida State will have to play a great game on defense because they're facing who I think is one of the best running backs in the country. Brad, I think they can slow him down just enough to win this game, but it's going to be really close. 
Virginia Tech has won the toss and elects to play offense first. We're live from Orlando, Florida and the Citrus Bowl. There's a lot of excitement in the air for this one. It's time for football and the fans are anxious to get this one started as we give you what should be an exciting game between the Michigan Wolverines and the Volunteers of Tennessee. Hi everybody and welcome to another edition of EA Sports NCAA Football. I'm Brad Nessler joined here by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. Neither team seems to have an advantage in this game so this ought to be a tight game. Lee? Let me tell you something. Michigan is not coming in this ball game doing anything fancy and have anything fancy up their sleeves. If I were them, I'd run and play smash mouth football until my opponent throws everything he's got at me, and then I'd beat him deep with the pass. That's what they're going to do, my friend Kirk. Mark it down on your calendar. Lee, 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 you're surprising me. I thought you'd be all over this one. Don't you read the papers? Don't you talk to the coaches? Tennessee is just too powerful on offense, and it all starts with their running back. He's got good speed and good agility, but the thing that impresses me most about this guy is his ability to read blocks. He has great vision, does a fantastic job of seeing the entire field. And Brad, when you combine that with his patient running style, this is one of the best running backs in the nation. Tennessee has won the toss and has elected to receive. NCAA football, it's got to be the sport with the most loyal fans in the world. And these fans have gathered together here with one common goal in mind, bringing our team to victory. And we don't need to worry about the weather because it is absolutely gorgeous out here for tonight's game between the Colorado Buffaloes and the Oregon Ducks. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, and with me, as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. We're glad you joined us. The Buffaloes, I imagine, would be considered a slight underdog coming into this affair. Coach, do you see it that way? No question about it, Brad. Colorado is facing a defensive secondary that's all over the place. They can play a man, 
They can play a zone, and they can even blitz when you're not looking. Kirk, I wouldn't want to be playing quarterback against this bunch of maniacs. They'll kill you. I think you're right with this one, Lee. Oregon will be led in this game by their fearless quarterback. I'm very impressed with the competitive spirit of this guy. Brad, when you watch this guy play, you're going to see him give 100% every single down. And it won't matter if his team is up by 30 or down by 30. He's a winner, and he'll get it done. Colorado has won the toss and has elected to receive. This is the Nokia Sugar Bowl, so expect to see some sweet plays and hard hits as these two teams battle for the bowl trophy. Dome stadiums can protect these players from weather elements, but don't forget the noise factor in today's game between the Illinois Fighting Illini and the LSU Tigers. Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler, Lee Corso, and Kirk Herbstreit here to bring you all the action of this football game. With these teams, there's no telling who's going to win. They are evenly matched, Mr. Corso. I'm going to tell you something right now up front. Pay attention. Illinois is a defensive football team, and their defensive philosophy starts with stopping the other team's run. Kirk, if they can do that, and I think they can, they'll control the tempo. And I think they're going to win this football game. Well, your guess is as good as mine in this one, Lee. In a game this close, I look at individuals. LSU has the advantage, in my opinion, when it comes to the individual star players. Just look at their quarterback. Here's a guy that has the ability to single-handedly win a football game. And there's not too many players that you can say that about. Brad, I'm expecting this guy to have a monster game, and I think he'll be the difference. LSU has won the toss and has elected to receive. Player Stadium here in beautiful Miami, the host of the FedEx Orange Bowl. And we don't need to worry about the weather because it is absolutely gorgeous out here for tonight's game between the Maryland Terrapins and the Florida Gators. 
Welcome, everybody. This is Brad Nessler along with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet here to bring you another game of EA Sports NCAA football. The Terrapins are going out there looking for an upset in this one, and I just can't see that happening. Oh, you got that one right, Brad. Florida is coming into this ball game with three main goals, and they are throw the ball, throw the ball, and then throw it some more. Kirk, they're going to chuck this ball deep and let those receivers run under it and score touchdowns. I mean, a lot of touchdowns. I agree with you, Lee. The only question in my mind is who's going to have the biggest performance? Florida comes into this football game led by their quarterback, and he's such a leader, Brad. Believe me, he won't buy into any of this pregame, we're going to blow him out hoopla. He's a focused competitor, and he'll be ready to play. Florida elects to play offense first. Pasadena, California is the site for the Classic Rose Bowl, and the fans are generating some noise as they get ready for this game. The forecast tonight is calling for clear skies, and we should have perfect weather for this game between the Nebraska Cornhuskers and the Hurricanes of Miami. Welcome, everybody. This is Brad Nessler along with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet here to bring you another game of EA Sports NCAA football. Lee, how do you predict this one? It appears to be a deadlock, and either team could come out on top. Let's take a look at a quick point that I think will be an important factor in this ballgame. Miami has a big advantage in this football game, and it all starts with their passing game. Look for them to have good offensive balance, throwing the ball to the receivers, tight ends, and backs coming out of the backfield. Forget about it, Kirk. You're probably right about that, Lee. Miami needs to look no further than their quarterback to figure out what holds this team together. Not only is a great performer on the field, he's just a great all-around guy. The total package. He's earned the respect of his entire team. Brad, that's something you don't see from a lot of quarterbacks nowadays. Miami has won the toss and elects to play offense first. We're at the base of the incredible Giza Pyramids for this football matchup. Clear skies and just beautiful weather here for tonight's game between the Giza Mummies and the Giza Mummies. Hi, everybody, and welcome. Brad Nessler, Lee Corso, and Kirk Herbstreit getting ready for a mean and ugly rival game. And you know when these two teams get together, it's going to be a nail-biting and dirt-clawing fight. 
which is the stuff that classic rivalries are made of. Neither team seems to have an advantage in this game, so this ought to be a tight game. Lee? Well, we talked to some of the players earlier, and here's what I know. The Mummies absolutely loves their chances in this one. They feel like they have a better offense, defense, and special teams than their opponents, and I disagree. I don't think their defense is as good as they think they are, especially when it comes to stopping a run. Kirk, look for this defense to spend a lot of time on the field because of long offensive drives. I think they're going to get tired in the fourth quarter. And then, my friend, they're going to be in real trouble. Real trouble. Wow, shocking, Coach. You're going with the upset. Well, it's not going to happen. And I'll tell you one reason why. The Mummies is going to dominate this football game, and they're going to do it with the running back. you got to be kidding me. This guy's unstoppable. Brad, big game today by the running back in this one. 200 yards, three touchdowns at least. Giza has won the toss and elects to play offense first. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. Number one kicks it off. Number 23. Welcome to Hoboken, New Jersey for what appears to be a great football game. And the weather is absolutely gorgeous for today's game between the Hoboken Sugar Buzz and the Hoboken Sugar Buzz. Hi everybody and welcome. Brad Nessler, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit getting ready for a mean and ugly rival game. And you know when these two teams get together it's going to be a nail biting and dirt clawing fight. Which is the stuff that classic rivalries are made of. This one looks to be a very even matchup at least on paper. Tell me, Lee, how do you see this thing? Well, we talked to some of the players earlier, and here's what I know. The Sugar Buzz is saying they can run all over this defense, but their opponents just say the opposite. They say they will shut down their running game. Personally, I don't think they can shut them down. I think they're in trouble. But, Kirk, this is one of my favorites. Roll up your sleeve. Come on, sweetheart. Let's find out who a better man is. Come on. I'm surprised at that prediction, Coach, and I disagree with it, too. The Sugar Buzz is just too powerful on offense, and it all starts with the running back. He's got good speed and good agility, but the thing that impresses me most about this guy is his ability to read blocks. He has great vision, does a fantastic job of seeing the entire field. And Brad, when you combine that with his patient running style, this is one of the best running backs in the nation. Hoboken has won the toss and elects to play offense first.
welcome City Slickers to the Old West. We're live from Pigskin Junction, where we anticipate a great game. And we don't need to worry about the weather because it is absolutely gorgeous out here for tonight's game between the Pigskin Junction Marshals and the Pigskin Junction Marshals. Hi, everybody, and welcome. Brad Nessler, Lee Corso, and Kirk Kerbstreet getting ready for a mean and ugly rival game. And you know when these two teams get together, it's going to be a nail-biting and dirt-clawing fight which is the stuff that classic rivalries are made of. If you compare these teams, they look to be pretty equal. Should be a close game, right, Coach? Let me tell you something. The Marshals is not coming in this ball game doing anything fancy and have anything fancy up their sleeves. If I were them, I'd run and play smash mouth football until my opponent throws everything he's got at me, and then I'd beat him deep with the pass. That's what they're going to do, my friend, Kirk. Mark it down on your calendar. You know, Lee, as usual, I disagree with you. The Marshals will win this game on the arm of their quarterback. You know, he has everything you want in a QB. All the intangibles. He's tough, he's talented, he's competitive. The thing I like about him is his ability to spread the ball out to a number of different receivers. Brad, he'll find a way to get it done. Pigskin Junction has won the toss and elects to play offense first. Pigskin Junction has the ball teed up, and we're ready for kickoff. He kicks it. We're in the dark confines of Shadowgate, anxiously awaiting the start of this football game. And the field is damp with all the rain we've had and more in the forecast for tonight's game between the Shadowgate Monsters and the Shadowgate Monsters. Hi, everybody, and welcome. Brad Nessler, Lee Corso, and Kirk Herbstreit getting ready for a mean and ugly rival game. And you know when these two teams get together, it's going to be a nail-biting and dirt-clawing fight, which is the stuff that classic rivalries are made of. Lee Corso, does this game look too close to call to you? I think both teams are evenly matched. Let me tell you something, my friend. The Monsters is saying they can run all over this defense, but their opponents just say the opposite. They say they will shut down their running game. Personally, I don't think they can shut them down. I think they're in trouble. But, Kirk, this is one of my favorites. Roll up your sleeve. Come on, sweetheart. Let's find out who a better man is. Come on. Lee, 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 you're surprising me. I thought you'd be all over this one. Don't you read the papers? Don't you talk to the coaches? The Monsters is coming into this game with a lot of confidence, not to mention a tremendous running back. Now, here's a guy that some people will argue is one of the top running backs in the nation. I don't know if I'd go that far, but I will tell you this. He's going to have a lot of success running against this defense. No upsets in this one, Brad. Shadowgate, he likes to play offense first. Shadowgate is ready to open this one.
Redwood City, California, home of the corporate offices of world famous Electronic Arts. These fans are going crazy as the players take the field. The forecast tonight is calling for clear skies and we should have perfect weather for this game between the EA Sports team and the EA Sports team. I'm Brad Nessler, joined in the booth as always by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet. You ready for a rivalry matchup? As always, when these two teams get together, they just don't play to win, they play to destroy each other. Lee Corso, does this game look too close to call to you? I think both teams are evenly matched. Okay, here's what I think. EA Sports absolutely loves their chances in this one. They feel like they have a better offense, defense, and special teams than their opponents, and I disagree. I don't think their defense is as good as they think they are, especially when it comes to stopping a run. Kirk, look for this defense to spend a lot of time on the field because of long offensive drives. I think they're going to get tired in the fourth quarter, and then, my friend, they're going to be in real trouble. Real trouble. Well, that's definitely a bold prediction, and I just don't agree with it. EA Sports will win this game, and I think they'll win it big. You know, when I look at their wide receiver right there, I'm thinking, who do they have to stop this guy? Brad, the answer is nobody. All they can do is hope they get a good pass rush, because if this guy gets the ball, it's off to the races. EA Sports has won the toss and elects to play offense first. EA Sports has the ball teed up, and we're ready for kickoff. Schmidt kicks it off. Russell fields it in the end zone. Scenic Tiburon Stadium, where the fans have gathered to cheer on their team in this big college football encounter. Clear skies and just beautiful weather here for tonight's game between the Tiburon Sharks and the Tiburon Sharks. Hi, everybody, and welcome. Brad Nessler, Lee Corso, and Kirk Herbstreit getting ready for a mean and ugly rival game. And you know when these two teams get together, it's going to be a nail-biting and dirt-clawing fight, which is the stuff that classic rivalries are made of. If you compare these teams, they look to be pretty equal. Should be a close game, right, Coach? Let me tell you something, my friend. Tiburon absolutely loves their chances in this one. They feel like they have a better offense, defense, and special teams than their opponents. And I disagree. I don't think their defense is as good as they think they are, especially when it comes to stopping a run. Kirk, look for this defense to spend a lot of time on the field because of long offensive drives. I think they're going to get tired in the fourth quarter. And then, my friend, they're going to be in real trouble. Real trouble. I'm surprised at that prediction, Coach, and I disagree with it, too. Tiburon is just too powerful on offense, and it all starts with their running back. He's got good speed and good agility, but the thing that impresses me most about this guy is his ability to read blocks. He has great vision, does a fantastic job of seeing the entire field. And, Brad, when you combine that with his patient running style, this is one of the best running backs in the nation. Tiburon has won the toss and elects to play offense first. Number 98 to kick off. Number Shepard kicks it off. Deep to receive. Long fields it in the end zone.